What's up everyone? Train Freak here and today I got a mail call. Actually these are items that came in over the week and then plus I got a turnout from the hobby shop because I've been looking for this one and he finally found one for me. Uh, for some odd reason Atlas is not making much track right now especially turnouts but this is going to go over here on Riceland on the other end uh, where it would actually go up to the level or the helix to level three. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side. But I got some packages here. Oh, I wonder what could be in the tube. So I thought I'd share these with you. Um, one is an eBay purchase, but I bought it for a special reason and a special reason only. And that is because uh, me and one of the other channels, John Arthur, was talking about doing a Kind of like a duet obsession and so one of the things in order to make that happen is is you got to have uh, the same car for each layout to do it now if you wanted you can use you know other people's industries um, on their layout you know but in order to do like a duet, maybe have like two people recording together and both share that same video, um, you got to have the same car. And it doesn't matter if one person's HO and one, one person's N scale. As long as it's the exact same car, then, you know, that's, that's all that matters. So, I ordered this off of eBay after finding out how many, you know, different ones he has. And there you go. Seaboard Airline, the route of the courteous service. So it's just an Atherin ready to roll, 40 foot modernized box car. But this is one he has. So I'm looking forward to doing something like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, maybe try to figure out what industry on my layout either ships or receives, you know, something from an industry on his layout that ships and receives. So, you know, something to be pretty cool. Um, this package here came from our very own Marty m and um, He asked me if I could use some magnets for the uncoupling, and I said, I can always use magnets. So I'm curious as to which magnets he had so we are going to take a look and i quietly do not know exactly how this is all boxed up but we're going to figure it out one way or another either that or i'm going to rip the box and shreds whoa hello and he wasn't lying when he was talking about magnets holy smokes these things are huge So I bet you these go under the track like you have to cut out the road bed. Golly, them things are huge. Holy smokes. So there's three right there. Oh, look. I mean, this thing's packed. Marty, I think you did a pretty good job. All right, where's these? I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. This is some memorabilia. This is a passenger's baggage check card thing, I'm assuming, for the Southern Pacific Company. And it's even got the duplicate one on this side that they could rip off. Oh, wow. It's even got a notice to passengers on here. That's cool. I've never seen one of these before. This looks like the same thing, but for Santa Fe. So that's very neat. Marty, what else did you throw in here? 
looks like more of the big magnets right there KD number 308s and it says these are actually for HON3 to O which if I'm not mistaken HON3 uses HO track so no reason why you can't use it for HO so that's actually three more magnets feels like there's something else in here too and three more magnets right there so exact same thing so wow that's a total of nine magnets that's awesome that is that's that's slick thanks Marty holy smokes make sure there ain't nothing else in there because he had that he had that box in there tight packed packed real tight oh uh, it's a letter And I think that's it. So let's see what the letter says. All right. All right, so this is written on February the 15th of 2021. It says, what's up, Jason the Train Freak? I was lurking in Heath's Monday live stream. I wonder who that Heath guy is. And heard you talking about magnetic uncouplers. And I remember I had some from my old layout, which he used to do HO. Three new and only six that I had on my layout. Hope they can work for you. Also, I bought a piece of rolling stock and the seller included these old school railroad luggage tags. Aha, uh -huh. look at that would be that would be these. The Santa Fe and the SP. Um, I thought you liked them especially after seeing the first railroad they are from. We'll be safe, keep warm, and sending hellos to the train freak family. Best Marty from M and M Short Lines. Thanks, Marty. Heck yeah, man. I like I like stuff like this. Um Man, I'm just going to have to go through my storage bag just to kind of show y'all some of the type of memorabilia I have. I don't really have like anything like railroad lanterns, but I do have like employee cards and family cards and, uh, you know, I got some keys. I think it's like from the Rio Grande. I got a key from the Rio Grande and a lock. So, yeah, that's going to, that, I'll have to show those off one day. All right, last but not least, I contacted my friend, Train Junkie, and told him I'm, I, need, I needed some dimensions for some roads, because he has not just the backdrop that you saw over down there where the uh, high, high stakes ranch is going to be, but he also has peel and stick roads, so it comes on vinyl. And, of course, you have to cut it out with an X-Acto blade. But he's got the road pieces already designed. And I just asked him for the dimensions, and he said he's going to send me a sample. And these things look amazing for roads. And if you wanted to, you could probably stick the highways and byways striping on top of it. I mean, this stuff is like wow and he sent me both types holy smokes all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay this out so that way y'all can see it so i will be right back all right y'all so this is what the roads look like and it's actually two sheets here and so i laid the whole sheet flat and then i rolled the top one back but these are his roads with the uh the sidewalks it's got some for railroad crossings, you know, crosswalks built into it, you know, long straight. And then, of course, like I said, here's the other roll, and it's halfway unrolled. This is what the other side looks like. You know, angled intersections, more railroad crossings, school crossings, curved sections. 
And if you didn't need a full curve, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't cut off a piece of it. Man, this is amazing. So you got angled intersections, a T intersection, and a four-way intersection there. Um, just regular crossings there. I wonder if there's school crossings in... Yes, there is school crossings in the sidewalk. So, I mean, this is... This is... Wow. I mean, I don't even know what to say with these. This is definitely a good road for the country scene. So that's... I plan on putting a road... Right here, and I've got it marked. I just didn't know what the width of his roads were. And I want it crossing over the tracks there. And then going by that back that direction. So, like, I had no clue what, you know, the width of the roads and stuff were. Now I know. I can actually measure and work off of that. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say these are pretty close to a re-roller. I've got a re-roller right here. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Uh, Alright, here's a, here's a Cove 100. So, so there you have it. I mean, that's not, that's not, not too terrible. So, definitely use these as railroad crossings for sure now. See how it looks on the sidewalk side. There you go. That's, that's not bad at all. So, I think that looks really, really good. And it, the, the color actually shows better on camera as far as like the yellow stripings than it does to the naked eye. But if it but if it's not bright enough once I get it up under the lights, because that's gonna be the you know the test to it is what does it look like under the lights? If it's not bright enough, then I will come back with uh highways and byways because I still have some of that stuff. But um I am very, very impressed with this and curious to see how this is going to work out. So hopefully in a future video, I will play around with this and just test and see what it looks like. So, all right, y'all. Well, I'm going to let y'all have at it. Y'all be safe out there. I wish y'all a great week. Thank you, extended supporters through Patreon, Teespring, and PayPal. And I will see y'all later. Take care and happy railroading.